61 is our phone number on the bright side. Let's go off to Ireland and welcome Colin to the bright side. What's up, I- uh, Colin? How you doing? Northern Ireland. How you Belfast. doing, Ben? How you doing? What's That's up, great. buddy? Correct. Thanks, thanks for calling. How can we help you? Well, I'm calling about a workmate, Ben. I've called you before about myself, and your advice is top-notch, and I appreciate it. It's great Thank you. Me. Thank and you. He, he's a, he's a fellow who's about your age, and you can see him suffering with type 2 diabetes. You know, his blood sugar's up and down all day. Okay. But he's also, he's also got hemochromatosis. Oh, okay. So okay. I, uh, no, I didn't know much about that, but I... I asked him about the uh, treatment, and I thought it was drugs, and he said, no, they bleed him yes. every two weeks, which I thought was a bit medieval, you know. <laughs> so uh, It's kind of medieval. He's a, he's a nice bloke, and yeah, it's, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, here's the deal. Hemochromatosis is an iron overload disease. The body doesn't process iron correctly and starts to build up. Iron is kind of a, a tricky mineral. Obviously, we need iron. Very, very important for uh, hemoglobin and for oxygenation of the blood, etc. But iron is also very unstable. And in the world of nutrition, things that are unstable can be problematic. So you don't want to have a lot of iron floating around. In fact, the body will regulate iron very, very, very tightly. There's, uh, there are chemicals that are produced in the liver that control how much iron is leaked out, how much iron is absorbed, how much iron is stored. So typically, if you're dealing with iron overload disease, you're dealing with a liver problem. Now, doctors will tell you it's genetic and doctors will tell you it's hereditary. But if you got type, if your friend has type 2 diabetes and he has other health issues, I wouldn't even be paying attention to this, this nonsense about uh, genetics and hemochromatosis. I'd be concentrating on the liver. And this is not uncommon in this country, and I'm sure it's not uncommon common in Ireland for folks to be dealing with liver problems. And if he's a diabetic, probably he's got other issues. Almost guaranteed he's got some liver issues and probably got some other stuff going on, too. The bleeding is a way of eliminating iron. Now, iron is stored, is, travels around in the blood. And by bleeding, you help, uh, the theory is anyway, you help eliminate iron out of the body. Uh, other strategies that are probably as good or better are to chelate the iron, to magnetically attract the iron, and you can use various nutritional supplements to do that, or you can have chelation therapy done, something called EDTA therapy. That's one way that you can uh, chelate iron. You can use supplements like N-acetylcysteine, NAC, can help chelate iron. Selenium has some chelating properties. Um, uh, let's see what else. Sulfur, MSM sulfur also has... Uh, some chelating properties. I'd be focusing on the liver as well, making sure that he's not, if he has any digestive issues, that he's correcting his digestive issues. Now, the liver has to process all kinds of toxins in addition to alcohol and, and drug toxins. It's also processing food toxins as well. So focusing on the digestive system, and of course, the liver is a sugar processing structure, a sugar processing organ. And so if he has diabetes, that's going to also put a load on the liver. So making sure that he's concentrating on keeping his blood sugar down and using things like the sweeties from longevity and the osteomag perhaps and the and the beyond tangy tangerine all of the strategies for keeping blood sugar stable tomorrow we're going to be talking a little bit about blood sugar as it regards wound healing so maybe have your friend listen in tomorrow or listen in on the archive so number one you can focus on uh, uh, chelation therapy using EDTA or using selenium or using sulfur. Number two, focus on liver health uh, using digestive strategies, eliminating problem foods. Number three, focus on blood sugar stabilization, staying away from foods that spike his blood sugar, and then use, using nutrients like the Healthy Start Pack, the, the B vitamins and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Sweeties, Magnesium, and Zinc. These are all great strategies for uh, helping lower, uh, reduce iron content. But I would be focusing mostly on the liver and the digestive system. That would be my, my major strategy. Does that help you, Colin? It does indeed, Ben. Thanks very much. All Thank the best. You. God bless to you, my friend. Okay, let's uh, go to Rory in California. Rory, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Thanks, Ben. Yes, I called yesterday regards my mother-in-law. She's mid-80s. Four years of vegan, vegetarian, and more recently vegan in the last probably 20 years. Had thyroid issues, got talked into getting her thyroid nuked maybe oh, no. and 15 years ago. So the question, and she is vegan, she uses a lot of soy for protein. Well, and, that's not going to help know. her thyroid. Well, is her thyroid completely nuked? Is, is her thyroid It completely? was, but it looks like it's. Oh, yeah, you, I remember talking to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know why she thinks she needs the soy. That's definitely a problem for the thyroid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be going near soy if I were her. Uh, that's one thing. If she's, if she's vegan, that's going to be a little bit tricky. Algae, 
Uh, she can do algae, right? Does she? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. algae. Algae is one good source of protein. Like, you know, non-soy legumes, it's really tricky. Uh, she can certainly do, uh, oh, gosh, uh, rice spirulina. protein. Yeah, spirulina is good, but it's a good source of protein, and, and the, but it doesn't have a concentrated amount of protein. She can do rice protein and sprouted proteins. Uh, sprouts yep. also are a good source. There's a, She's a big sprout person. Have her do sprouted rice protein. I forgot the name of the company that makes the sprouted rice protein powder. And that's what okay. I'd be doing. And I'd be doing a lot of it. Enough to, to the point where she feels satisfied and full. And if she can mix oil, uh, uh, something like Udo's Blend oils or the essential, the uh, ultimate EFA capsules. The combination of protein and fat is extremely satisfying. Uh, she can mix coconut oil in with her, uh, sp- uh, her sprouted rice protein smoothies. Make Make sprouted rice protein smoothies with coconut oil and perhaps nuts and fiber to have a filling quality. I'd be very careful, however, of the uh, of the uh, soy. If she has any digestive problems and if she's in her 80s, chances are she has something going on. Uh, low stomach acid is usually what happens as we get older. You're going to want to yeah. correct digestive problems. Use apple cider vinegar. Use the uh, uh, ultimate enzymes from Longevity. Remember, thyroid hormone is activated in the intestine. And in the liver to a certain extent. So you got to make sure that you got enough probiotics going on. I'd be using fermented foods as well as the BioLumin Nightly Essence. Focus on a good source of protein that she can use. That way she won't be, she won't feel hungry and she won't be snacking on, on uh, uh, the grains and the soy in the middle of the day. Combine the protein with fats. Make sure she's on the mighty 90 essential nutrients, especially the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Have her sipping yeah. on that all day long. Make sure she's stabilizing uh, any kind of digestive problems. Staying away from foods that cause digestive problems and then using apple cider vinegar, using the digestive enzymes, using probiotics. If she has any problems with fat absorption, which is very common as we get older, then she's going to want to start to throw in uh, some lecithin perhaps and some extra bile salts perhaps. Also, uh, the amino acid taurine and the B vitamin-like substance choline can help with fat absorption. Thanks so much for your call, Rory. Hope we helped you out. I'll let, if you have anything else to say, we'll, get, uh, we'll let you finish up when we come back from our break. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Have you ever noticed how many sick and miserable people there are? I'm serious. I'm talking about people of all ages who have conditions and diseases which affect their quality of life. Most of them seem to have one thing in common, polypharmacy. That is dependence on multiple prescription drugs with side effects that actually make them sicker and sicker, not healthy. The good news is that people are waking up to the fact that if you supply your body with all of the nutrients it requires, you will feel better, be healthier, and have a better life. It's important to know that Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the most amazing, great-tasting, comprehensive, of nutritional supplement. Besides supplying all the vitamins our bodies need, it also supplies the necessary minerals that are required for the vitamins to kick in. Look, folks, I'm hooked on it, and I think if you try it, you'll become hooked. This stuff really works. That's why I'm urging you to make it part of your daily health regimen. Visit InfoWarsTeam.com to secure your canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine today. Sign up for auto ship and save on shipping costs. That's Beyond Tangy Tangerine at InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. This is big! Not just big, it's the Freeze Dry Guys Giant Factory Authorized Sale. This month, save 30 to 45% off on number 10 cans of high quality Mountain House freeze dried foods from the Freeze Dry Guy. Factory fresh stock just arrived, so now is the time to stock up with the finest, best tasting, longest proven shelf life foods in the industry at giant savings of 30 to 45% off. But hurry, supplies are limited to only the stock we have on hand. Call 866 404 
866-354-3663. Free shipping to the lower 48 states. Click freezedryguide.com or call 866-404-3663. That's freezedryguide.com. Hurry, the giant factory authorized Mountain House sale is going on now. Only from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. All right, we're back on the break side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 855-660-4261 is our number. If you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com and click on the Join the Team link and somebody will get back to you. For a one-time $10 fee, you can enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business and help me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. We're talking to Rory in California. So uh, that help you, Rory? Thyroid thing, yeah. digestive system? Yeah, big help. Last uh, quick yeah. question. She's, uh, I think she's been on thyroxin. She's okay. Some kind of supplement. She's been back to the doctor. She's waiting to hear from them. What if they come back with her and say, hey, we, re- we need to renew your regrowing thyroid? Uh, in addition, yeah, to, I, these, in addition I, to these supplemental ideas and modifying her vegetarian diet, is there any... Any advice or direction you could point her? Deep breathing, take it easy on the body. The thyroid is a regulatory organ. It regulates everything. That means without a thyroid, you're going to be at major risk for problems adjusting to your environment. The thyroid is a regu- when I say the thyroid is a regulatory organ, that means it helps the body adjust to things. So yeah. anything, you've got to keep the body stable. That means eating as little food as you absolutely need, eating as little problematic uh, liquid foods, taking, taking it easy on the body, deep breathing, staying away from psychological stressors. Anything that puts a burden on the body is going to really mess, up the, uh, mess somebody up who doesn't have a thyroid. She, then she's going to be dealing with adrenal energy and cortisol, and that's not a good thing. Now, she is... is there- this, Go ahead. Is, there, is it unusual for the for the uh, thyroid to grow back? Now everything grows. Years later. No, everything uh, everything grows back. Everything regenerates unless they completely destroyed it or took it out. You know, which they no. do sometimes. No, it's yeah. not. It's happened. I've heard of it happening. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay good Thank deal. You, ben. Thank you. God bless, Thank Rory. You very Take, much. Care. Take care. Take care, bro. Okay, Pat in Indiana. What's going on? Welcome to the bright side. Hello. Hey, Pat. Uh, we have a little dog. He's going on thirteen. And they say he's, his body's not getting rid of the toxins. And okay. we're wondering, is there any natural? Well, it depends on what the toxins are, and it depends on what's not working correctly. Is it a liver problem or a kidney problem? Kidney. or it's it's kidney problem. Kidney. All right. So uh, is he eating? What kind of dog food is the? Is it Purina, cat dog chow, or Pretty that kind of stuff? Pretty much the natural food you got at the dog food store. Look at the, look at the ingredient deck, and I would personally read a book called Potinger's Cats, which is basically for cats, but it's also generally for animals. Dogs eat meat. They're not supposed to be eating a lot of sugar and bready carbohydrates, soy, and that's the kind of stuff that's in the uh, in a lot of the dry dog food, so or even in the, in the wet dog food as well. So make sure the dog is not eating foods that mess up his blood sugar. Doggy diabetes is not un- it's pretty common actually, so uh, he may have a problem with blood sugar. Kidney issues are often associated with elevations or uh, what's called dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. So focus on keeping the blood sugar stable. Uh, if see if the dog's a diabetic, you want to correct that, or if, even if the dog 
dog has any kind of blood sugar problems. Keeping the blood clean is the most important strategy for taking care of the kidneys. This goes for anybody on dialysis, anybody who's starting to experience kidney breakdown. The kidneys filter the blood. They're a spaghetti strainer for the blood. Just like if you have dirty, a dirty pot of water uh, uh, and you try to strain your spaghetti, the pieces of dirt are going to clog up your spaghetti strainer. Well, that's what happens when you have kidney disease. Your kidneys are, made, are like a spaghetti strainer, and they're filtering the blood. When the blood is dirty or when the blood is tired, 